Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 22. Paul's last words to Timothy. For I am already being offered, and the time of my departure has come. When Paul said the time of his departure has come, he was talking about his own death. For I have fought the good fight. Wouldn't that be good to say at the end of your life, you fought the good fight. I have finished the course. I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness is stored up for me, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all those who have loved his appearing. Be diligent to come to me soon. For Damas left me, having loved this present world, and went to Thessalonica, Cretans to Galatia, and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Now to those of you who believe that every single word that Paul wrote is God's word for you today, as if God is speaking personally to you today, can you honestly look at this portion of Scripture and say this is what God is saying to you? That Luke is the only one that's with him? Obviously, we're reading Paul's personal letter to Timothy here, not God speaking directly to you for you today. Not that Paul doesn't have a lot of truth in his letters. Not that he doesn't have a lot of wisdom that we can glean from his letters. Not that he doesn't have a lot of knowledge that he gives us through these letters. But we got to look at it for what it really is. It's Paul's personal letter to Timothy. We're actually reading somebody else's mail here. Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with you. Again, if this is God speaking directly to you, you better go find Mark and get him. For he is useful to me for service. But I sent Tychicus to Ephesus. Bring the cloak that I left at Troas with Carpus when you come, and the books, especially the parchments. Alexander the coppersmith did much evil to me. The Lord will repay him according to his deeds. Beware of him, for he greatly opposed our words. At my first defense, no one came to help me, but all left me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood by me and strengthened me, that through me the message might be fully proclaimed, and that all the Gentiles might hear. So I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work, and will preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Greet Prisca and Aquila and the household of Anasiphorus. Erastus remained at Corinth, but I left Trophimus and Miletus sick. Be diligent to come before winter. Ubulus salutes you, as do Pudens, Linus, Claudia, and all the brothers. The Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Grace be with you. Amen. Seek God with all your heart. And if you seek him with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him as the prophet says, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.